Alright, so let's see if we can do a plain old get ready with me video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. Full face, just getting ready. And I'm going to be using the Maybelline The Brights palette because I haven't gotten to play around with this guy yet. And I just picked it up a couple of days ago. So, let's get started. And now, I think I'm going to do my foundation first. Lately, I've been liking the L'Oreal Infallible Foundation mixed with some of this Pacifica BB Cream. It's like a highlighty kind of glow from within kind of deal so it takes this matte foundation and makes it a little more natural kind of looking even though this is a very natural looking foundation it just gives it a little bit of a glow and I typically don't like a glowy face but it's winter time so it's dry outside and my oily skin is somewhat behaving itself so I like to put these guys together so I'll just take a big old glob of the foundation and then just like a pea size amount of the BB cream and then I'm just gonna mix those two together and start applying I look like super duper pale in the viewfinder I hope that's not coming off as pale as it looks but let's do the brows and I'm using my Anastasia dip brow pomade because I like it and an angled dual brush from uh, Eco Tools, and one side is an angled side. Alrighty, so with that base going on, I'm gonna wait to do concealer and stuff till last. Let's go on to the eyes. And I will zoom you guys in for that. Oh, I forgot. I've got to set the brows. This is the Pixie Duo Brow Guy. I keep forgetting that I still have the pencil end of this. I should start using it more. It's a nice cool tone brown. But then it comes with this brown gel too. And I like the gel side. I just keep forgetting that it also has the pencil side. I really really like this pretty blue shade in here I think I might do something with that so let me see if I've got a nice blue base to use with it I think I'm gonna go with this dark color tattoo this is audacious ass audacious asphalt from Maybelline and I want to say this might have been discontinued but it's a dark like charcoaly metallic kind of pretty color so I'm gonna use that as a base on the lids just to create a more smoky look, a, a darker, more shadowy kind of look instead of just a bright blue. It's actually like 1 o'clock, yeah, it's 1.30 in the afternoon, so this is going to be my nighttime makeup anyway. Alright, so just a relatively even, messy kind of base going on there. Alright, so we're going to take the pretty blue color and... I'm going to use this big brush, and I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. Alright, I'm going to try to go into this purple here and deepen it up, but from the swatches, I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, it looks pretty dark on the brush, so hopefully I can get something to come off on it. Yeah, that's much better than I was expecting it. It doesn't look like it's going to blend well, though. It's kind of getting patchy over here. So, I'm going to go into this other purple one, which was also disappointing to swatch, and see if I can get any kind of color payoff to blend into the crease. Not a lot happening on the brush. I'm just kind of placing it above the other shadows I have going on up there. almost looks like it's got like a brownish kind of undertone like it's not straight up fuchsia-y it's kind of reddish brownish almost 
Maybe this look is a little bit too colorful. You know, sometimes when I do like really colorful looks and I feel like it's a little too intense for whatever situation I'm wearing it to, I just put on my glasses. It makes it look less noticeable. You don't really, you can't really tell that much what's going on on my eyes. So there's a hint for you if you like to play with makeup but you don't want other people to think you're like crazy about your makeup, so. I don't know, just, just something that I do. Instead of trying to like redo your whole look if it turns out a little more intense than you were anticipating. Because sometimes, you know, if you like to play with colors, sometimes you can get a little out of hand. You can kind of just keep, like, get into the mode, like, get into really playing with the makeup and kind of forget that you're... You're going to be in public eventually. So I do keep having to dip back into this color, so that's kind of a bummer. And it I don't think it looks anything at all like it does in the pan. Like, that is not the color that I would expect from this, like, at all. Alright, so let's go into the matte black to deepen up the outer section just to give it a little bit of structure instead of just being straight up color all over the place. Adding some kind of neutral color like a brown or a gray or a black really can help tone down a colorful look if it gets a little out of hand. If you don't want it to look so intense and crazy colorful, that can also kind of help tone it down a little bit. I think I'm going to go back into the blue and just pack it on again to help bring it back a little bit more vibrant. So I see just a teeny bit of a fallout. And it's not color, it's more like any of the little glitters that may have been in any of those colors. So not a big deal if you ask me. Now I'm just going to go in with my concealer. This is the MAC Pro Longwear. First I'm going to wipe off my fingers so I don't get like glitteriness all up in my concealer. Alright, so that's what I've got. Put a little bit on my finger and bring it under the eye. And take a little more and bring it under the other eye. And then the bridge of the nose and up kind of to highlight more and then just whatever's left on my chin and my cupid's bow and then in with the sponge to blend it in with my elf under eye setting powder eye brightener in the color buff and I'm really really running out of this stuff and the elf flawless concealer brush just dipping that on in there and going in under the eyes to set the concealer. Alright, so now I'm going to finish up the eyes. I'm going to try and get this greenish color to show up in the lower lash line. Yeah, no, that's not going to happen. It ain't, it's not doing anything. Holy moly, that's like super crappy. Not cool, Maybelline. So I'm going to go in with the white color instead. It has a bit of a sheen to it, and if I remember correctly, it swatched okay. But it's, eh, it's okay. It's decent. Oh, there it goes. It's looking a little better with two coats. I'm gonna try the green one more time. Alright, I vote that green sucks. I'm gonna finish up the lower lash line with this matte purple. Oh, and maybe some of this blue. I think I'm gonna mix it with the blue, too.
Alright, so now it's time for all the boring stuff like the liner and the other liner and the mascara and all that. We're just going to skip over that because I think you've seen it plenty of times. I don't think it's necessary. Lined the waterline and tightline with Maybelline Unstoppable Eyeliner. Lined the upper lash line really thinly with no wing with the Lorac Front of the Line Pro Liner. Maybelline Lash Discovery Waterproof on the lower lashes. And Too Faced Better Than Sex on the upper lashes. And I think it's time to admit that this little sample guy is ready to go. He is empty and he needs to go into the empties box. I have to admit it now because it's really, really done. So the eyes are done. Let's zoom out and do the face. For the contour, I'm going to use my NYC Sunny Bronzer because I've been using it as a mirror today, so might as well just use it on my face too. Just using my e.l.f. Small Tapered Brush, which is a delightful little brush. I absolutely love it. I actually have two of these brushes. I think it's the only brush I own that I have doubles of. So that's saying something. So just under the cheeks, a little bit on the sides of the nose, and then just a little bit. I never like refill my brush to do my temples or my nose most of the time. I wouldn't say never, but it's usually just whatever's kind of left over. And I really need to use a natural blush because the eyes are just a little intense. And I'm, I'm going out tonight with people from school, so uh, I don't want people to like think I'm crazy because <laughs> I wear all this colorful crazy makeup to go out or something, so so let's do something normal. What's a good blush that's normal? I want to use my favorite from that limited edition matte Nificent palette from Tarte, but I know that it's not available, so I shouldn't use it in front of you guys. So I think I'm going to go with this Flower Beauty uh, little blush bronzer duo and it's in the color Beachy Keen and I'm going to use this shade, this blush right here. Just a teeny tiny bit. Now I'm not saying that this is a dupe for that blush color at all. I'm just saying that it's more of a normal, regular old kind of color. Nothing too crazy. I don't know what lip color to do. I wear this one like all the time. But I don't know what lip color to do, but I know I wear these new Jordana ones like way too much. But I just like them. Here's one I haven't used in a while. This is the e.l.f. Matte Lip Color in the color Natural. And I do like this little guy. And I like the shade of it. It's nice and neutral. And I think it will go well if I'm trying not to go too crazy. So let's use this. But I think that's a good neutral kind of color. So this is the completed look for my get ready with me for today. Once again, I'm kind of iffy about this little guy. I did a review, my last video actually, well it wasn't really a review, it was a first impression kind of thing on, just a tutorial kind of thing on the Smokes palette, and I was kind of iffy about it, I don't really know how I feel about it. I think I feel the same way about the Brights palette. I wish they would have done like all colors, because that would have been cool, like bright colors, you know, but like that green one was super disappointing, like it's just kind of iffy. I have, um, on my blog I have pictures and stuff of either of these if you care about them. But anyway, that was just kind of my look for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know what kind of stuff you want to see next. I picked up some of these little guys from Wet n Wild. They have a new collection called Silver Lake, I believe, and they're cute, colorful little palettes. I might be doing a tutorial with some of these if you care at all, but let me know what you guys want to see, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye! Let me show you a close-up on the eyeballs, just in case you guys care. Just kind of throw something together. Totally did not plan a look that looked anything like this, but I'm sure you guys know how it is when you start playing with new makeup, so those are the eyes, in case you care. And I guess I'll show you the face, too. I know you guys totally love my uh, turban dudes. There, there's a normal shot with my hair 
down instead of up in my crazy turban. <laughs> I guess I can show you guys my outfit for tonight too. Just wearing my necklace from Justin with our pictures in it. It's a locket. It says A and J on it. I'm sure you guys have seen it before, but I just put it on a longer chain. I think I like the way that it, it hangs a little lower. But I've just got a regular black um, tank on underneath. Pretty sure it's like from Walmart or Old Navy or something. Can't remember where the shirt's from, but I will leave it in the description. But it's just like an oversized kind of off the shoulder or whatever you want to do with it kind of shirt. So it is very open in the back, but I've got that uh, tank on underneath, so not not getting naked or anything. And then I've just got some distressed skinny jeans from Charlotte Ruse from couple maybe three years ago so they're kind of old and they are shorts like the short instead of like long or regular or whatever and they're kind of a little too short so I just kind of rolled them up a little bit on the ankles and got some sparkly flats from Target I'm pretty sure those are from Target and I just straightened my hair and I'm going back to the side part because I'm not totally sure if I was digging the middle part but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time bye